bonus point win, which I think he deserved. And we'll move on to our next match. Alrighty then, and in the red corner for Lanzu, we have, a, well, Lanzu Saurus, of course. Lanzu starting off the tournament with a defeat to Primal Cartman. But, ca but can he get back to winning ways? Well, can he... Can he win this time? Well, it, it shouldn't be too tough, because in the blue corner, for Aladar, we have a Decentraurus. This Decentraurus will be at a tight disadvantage against Lanzu's first two dinosaurs. So, like, honestly, I, I would just give Aladar the win. If he goes 2-0 up, I would give Aladar the win instantly. Good chance for Aladar here. A win here will close the gap on Dark Ash Star and we'll, well, we'll put him level with Dark Ash Star. A bonus point win and you'll go above him. Yeah, you can see see why I think that Aladar will not be going 2-0 up. Uh, again, you can give him as many hits as you want. All Aladar needs is like one hit and your Desantero is basically dead. I mean, the RNG is trying, just trying to prove me wrong, it's just messing with me. But it is a good start from Aladar and a needed good start. Yep, this is a one. But look, look at the infinitesimal damage. This will probably be paper. Oh, it's not, it's rock. And Lanzasaurus finally striking back. Ooh, no crit for Lantosaurus though. Ooh, Lantosaurus finally getting a hit. And I think, yep, this is a big foot assault. And this will do a lot of damage to Desantorus. So it was a valiant effort from Desantorus, to be honest. I will give it that, but... Look at that. Crystal Crusher getting triggered though, so that will put Aladar in a pretty strong position to kill Lanzusaurus. Ooh, not curtains yet. And honestly, Lanzusaurus can probably tank another hit. Unless that hits from a crit. Well, despite all of Desantorus' effort, despite all its hard work, all it takes is one super impact from Lanzusaurus, and it's dead. And that gives Lanzu a 1-0 lead, unsurprisingly. Although, the surprise is that the Sandrorosus HP did get Lanzusaurus' HP in the red. Well, here comes the MVP of Team Aladar, the Super Opitha Sela Claudia. And this beast is basically the reason why I kind of want to new change Shockwave. <laughs> Because it literally got it off every single time. Like you can this, you compare to the last video, the video where Toka was playing and had super, had Omega Eocarcaria, which basically has 100 less technique than this thing, and this thing got shockwave off every time. And Eocarcaria didn't get any volcano burst or flare sword in two matches. Anyway, up next for Lanzu, we have an Edmontosaurus. Well, it's going to be tough for, not for Lanzu here because the Super Opis of Sigur Claudia seems to get Shockwave off every time. Okay, Awaken Mode on three. But, Aladar definitely did well with the Desantorurus, so it is an even match. That's a hit from the Apicicilla Claudia, but no Shockwave, which is a huge surprise. Oh, that's a tie. And that's another tie, and here comes Ocean Panic. And this will put Aladar in the driving seat, as one of Edmontosaurus' moves will be nullified. Oh, it's not! Wow, it's a huge surprise! Ooh, and the Edmontosaurus getting off a hit! 
dealing a lot of damage. No, I missed the awaken mode. Oh, I didn't even know I picked sign I clicked. I think I clicked scissors. Oh, poop. Um. Um. Okay, we'll give Aladar a free hit, and we'll do, and we won't do awake them though, because it was supposed to happen last. I, I am so sorry. Okay, anyway, his next Dino is Super Titanosaurus. Okay, yeah, we'll give Aladar a free hit, because that was only fair, because I messed up. I, I literally tapped all three keys, and he didn't do it. Okay, so we'll give Aladar a free hit. It's only fair, and we'll give it, we'll make it a rock. Right, that, I, I am so sorry. Okay, we're still even season, so hopefully it shouldn't affect the outcome of the match. Anyway, as for Aladar's third dino, we didn't see it last time. We have the Omega Armor Eokarkaria. And with the Goma moveset, of course, because that's the only moveset you can use on this thing. Okay, let's try and not mess up the Awaken mode this time. Okay, so wait mode on three. Oof, literally. Okay, that's a tie. That was Suki Okarkiria more than Titanosaurus. But that hit will suit Titanosaurus more, as it will have the type advantage. Okay, that's one. Oh, that's another tie. I think heat eruption's coming. Yes, it is. You know, look how quickly he gets heat eruption off. When you compare it to how many ties Toka got with your criteria, and how many times did he get heat eruption off? Zero. Mm. Not too much damage, but there's a volcano burst making up for it. Okay, that's twice. Uh, this has been a good match, other than my m m mistake. This has been a very good match. Ooh, has Lanshin just stolen this match's momentum as his elemental putin turn? <laughs> well, the only thing that will save Aladon now is if he wins this exchange. Which he doesn't, and the tie will take out Eokarkiria. But it's not all doom and gloom for Aladar as he will get a losing bonus point. Uh,